Today's adventure brings me on the outskirts of San Diego, California. I am heading down Interstate 8 out into the desert. The first thing I see is this Fallen on Better Times theme park. In fact, there is a Ferris wheel right here. Right off the 8. As the recording of this, it is Monday, June 19th, 2023. Going out to the desert to find some things. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Once again with Danny, Sinistalker. How's it going? Years ago, you told me about this, four, five, six years ago, you went to a location with an empty, abandoned train. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, I was like up the, up the eight up here about an hour where we're going. It's a little town called Lacumba. There's a whole row of abandoned train cars that are stuck in the train uh, tracks still for like, I don't know how long, over 20 years. And you can walk in them and stuff. It's just pretty neat, totally abandoned, pretty rad. Yeah. So we'll go to Jacumba, the name of the town. Yeah. Check that place out and then do a little hike. Hopefully no snakes or mountain goats come after us. All goats are out there. Do be careful. I'm inviting you to join me and Danny. Shall you? Now we're not going to go rooting around in this property, but it is pretty neat. There's a lot of fences up and signs and things. But take a look at that old rusted out roller coaster back in there. But can walk right up to the fence line and take a look at this thing. Interesting to see these palm tree branches here lining the fence. That is neat. I do love a good Ferris wheel. Definitely adds to the ambiance seeing, seeing it all rusted out like that. A little creepy. A little creepy. Here's the old ticket booth. Another look at the coaster over there. So you grew up, you were born and raised in the San Diego area. Yeah. So you used to come here when you were young. Yeah, so yeah this place used to be called Marshall Scotty's. It was like a local little amusement park back in the day. Yeah, it's off the world, but I went on that coaster, went on that Ferris wheel. Wow, was this like kind of like a haunted mansion type thing? Yeah, yeah, like a little, like little haunt thing. Look, 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 look at that, there's still cars yeah. on, the, on the track. Look at the old sign up here too, it's called like the, well, the little, Look, called the Little Dipper it was called. It's gonna make up the sun, it says Little Dipper. It's amazing. It just is all like kind of still there, it's just rusted up. It's just neat how that is. That is neat. It's haunting. Danny was also telling me that during haunt season, during September and October, sometimes they'll do like a walkthrough and they'll theme it out. Should be pretty cool to go to. I don't know if they're doing it this year, but. Pretty neat. All right, fueling up, self-pumping gas nozzle out here in the California deserts. I made the mistake I didn't press regular plus. I'm fueling up my rental car with Supreme, with Technon, Techron. I think it's like 10 cents more a gallon, but 567. Ooh, man, oh, 567 out here. Yeah. They make, they make you pay out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's that desert life. Only spot in town, so. So this car right here, it looks like it's got a little happy, smiley face. Does, he evidently does not realize the price of fuel. But I think regular would have been about 10 cents cheaper. Not that big of a deal. Now it's pretty windy out here. We have got off of I-8. Take a look at this place called Benny's Repair Shop, Car Repair. And there's an old 7-Up sign right here. seats right there. There's even an old air, 25 cent water and air pump right there. That's a relic. I don't think this place has been open for a long time. Wow. Not a whole heck of a lot going on on this particular thoroughfare. It's interesting, this area of Southern California it's pretty much right on the Mexico border, more or less. The rocky terrain, the boulderous regions, as I like to call it, the mountains are made up of big boulders, which is kind of unique for the landscape around here. 
was just specifically in this area within like 20 or 30 miles of this little area are all the boulderous regions. It's a term I made up. Definitely an eerie vibe through here. Very quiet, desolate. Old gas station right here as well. We're almost into downtown Jacumba, but I believe the J is silent, so Akumba? I think it's Akumba. Akumba. I think so. Very windy out here too. Arrived in downtown now. I got the palm trees over there waving in the breeze. It's a car wash on that corner. So if we were to walk down this road, there's some workers down there, about a hundred yards, well, 300 yards, you can see the, the wall down there. So close to it. Like this arrow points to it. South Railroad huh. is over there. Got a stretch limo over here. And a lady riding the horse through town. Stretch limo in front of this car wash and auto detailing. That'd be a heck of a thing to detail. Here's the post office, zip code 91934. There's some of the homes here in town. A few people living living here, probably wouldn't, probably not more than a few hundred. So Danny was just telling me about two decades ago, he was an extra in a TV show that took place here. What was the name of the show? You want to tell uh, them? Manhattan AZ. It lasted like, I don't know, probably six episodes on the, okay. FD, on the USA Network. Had some actor in there, his name was Chad Everett. Some other people like that, like the Western actors. Yeah. The guy Fish from uh, Godfather, he was in it too. I met him. The guy named Fish or Abe, the Godfather. Oh yeah. He, he was in that uh, one of the episodes too. So this is like uh, 20 year old memories for you right totally, through here. Yeah. We're on set up here, it was like blocked off. Got the honey wagon, all the snacks at and stuff. Uh, over here. Yeah, right up here. There's a plaque <laughs> from the. Ooh, look at these wow, ants okay. down here. Fire ants? What do they call these? Uh, they're not something you probably want to put your hand down in that hole. Oh, those are those are dude, those are huge. Yeah, those are big ants. Oh my god, this is scary. So over here. Yeah, right oh no, here. this says the bathhouse. But there's a yeah, Manhattan, yeah, right here, Manhattan AZ, Manhattan Arizona TV show. What? <laughs> look at this. In the year 2000, so 23 years ago, yeah. it served as the bar, quote unquote bar, yeah. in, the, in the popular Manhattan, Arizona TV show. Look yes. at that. There it is. <laughs> history made here, folks. History. You're a star. That was a part of history, man. So we're driving this way. There's this little walkway bridge here going over to some railroad tracks. So there's three tracks. We also just got a introduction into town by a not so kind local who uh it was an inter interesting experience it really was yeah it totally caught us off it guard caught me off guard but yeah <laughs> it happened in the desert it definitely is the desert folk yes so jumped out of the car here's the old railroad tracks here's the station well it says jacumba or acumba there Railroad cars as well. It's gonna be a train day. I always like to use my imagination what it had been like kind of going back in time when this place was a little more bustling and trains were going across the tracks here. You can even see the switch track portion right there. And the old train cars. Another one right here. It's an old pyramid up there too. What is that pyramid for? I don't know. It's, I think it's like a, I hope it's a cult or some sort of a interesting community. There's like all kinds of weird, like structures, like, like weird statues around it and writings and stuff. It's very odd. 
not sure what really goes on. But it's uh, something different for sure. This is a rather interesting building here, this castle-esque. This is right on Mexico line. I mean, just right over the side of the of that building, It'd be over in Mexico. It's wild. Give a little zoom in here at the wall. No cell phone signal out here either. Just very, very spotty cell phone signal wise. Do not want to see one of these, a live one of these today. I would rather just look at a metal sculpture of one, a rattlesnake. But they are out here in droves. Slithering creatures of the desert. The layout of the land, this map, yeah. more or less. So we're here in Acumba Peak and the lake. You got Interstate 8 here. The train depot we showed, that was up there. That's the bathhouse ruins from the TV show. That's yeah. the castle we just saw. Right there. Evidently there was an airport at an one airport point. So where is the the main train line you were talking about? Is that the trestle? It's probably like right here, probably this area. It's like okay. the, one of the biggest trestles in America too. It's a band, it's like not even working. So that's the one we're going up to. Right there. And she even shows like a little tower. Oh like yeah, Desert old, Tower's not yeah. far from here. And it shows like the alien, like the flying, yeah, Cody's flying saucer retrievals. Like it's like a weird alien guy up here. It has like alien stuff supposedly. So San Diego's over here to the west. We were going east, down eight, and then went this way. There's a desolate baseball field here, this baseball diamond, all sand and dirt. And if you loop around this way, let's take a look over here. You could really just walk up there if you wanted to. It's just, like, it's just pretty much a path right to the wall right there. It's just like an open gate. Wow. So random. Like a little pathway, hey, come up here. Yeah. It's been a long time since anyone's played baseball in this diamond. It's all dirt and sand. And it's not too often you see a helicopter on top of a fuel station. Check that there out. There is one. Full size, too. <laughs> Very unusual. My kind of place, clothing optional. Yeah, buddy. That's I'm Two miles you. ahead. <laughs> One eight seven seven to go nude. <laughs> <laughs> right up here on the creepy dirt road. You know, like an Area Fifty One road. We're going off road. Yeah, man. I'm glad you know where we're going because I don't know if I'd go down the dirt road in the desert like this. No, that's very. To uh, a clothing optional area. Believe me, when I first came here, I was like, do I go down this? Eh, I guess I will. But what uh, if they, I'm sure they use suntan lotion. I would or like so. sunblock, because the sun is scorching out here. I, I don't want certain areas sunburn. That would really be horrible. It would not be good. All right, we're going through this little, any shade I will be thankful for, because the sun is permeating out here. Look at this spider web, this like cobweb down here. That's like full of dirt. You can see like a layer of cobweb there. You see in the track right up here. Big ant mound. So this is a now defunct and unused portion of track. Both sides. Pretty cool, man. It's very cool. <laughs> I'm 
on the tracks, these old tracks that have seen better times. It's giving me some Stand By Me vibes. Oh, dude, look at that right there, right? Super Stand By Me. Look at all the overgrown brush. Have you seen people out on the, they have homemade railroad cars? Some people do. So they just like kind of mount on the other side of this? Yeah. I would imagine if you had just like a, a good mountain bike or even like a dirt bike, yeah. you could see how worn out this path is as mm -hmm. people have trodden out here. And even though I know there's no way, unless it's a ghost train coming by, <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to like walk on the actual track. I'm just walking beside it. Right, right, just have that vibe to it. But just look at all the, the foot trodden paths through here. Look at that one right there, yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. Of that. It's like a little miniature bridge. There. It looks pretty sturdy. Yeah. Just make sure you walk uh, along the take, beams. Take your time. But yeah, it's like it goes. Yeah, definitely a little memorial down there. And it looks as if they even had they built some stairs down to it. They did, yeah. And there was even a, a bench down there that they built for those that wanted to come out and pay their respects. We also prepared and brought, well, we stopped at the store when I got gas and got uh, this 50 ounce smart waters, one each, so that way we got plenty of hydration out here. If you did this in the summer, it would be brutal. But it's not too bad, it's nice and cool. So instead of going over this, this trestle, probably not the most sturdy thing, yeah, but you can see have others before. Others have walked this way. But I remember going down here, I'm pretty sure I did. It's, like, it's definitely overgrown now, it's all the rain we had. But I remember going through underneath. There's a path here that people have people have taken, so we'll just follow others' lead. A little path right there, right? Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> Quite the little adventure. They have like spider webs and stuff. I don't know what that nump that sound is. What is that beeping sound? It's like a high-pitched sound. Hear it? I just stepped on a stick. It just stopped. There was a beeping sound and it just stopped. I honestly didn't think we'd be passing too many people, but there's been a couple that have been hiking the area. This gentleman here approaching us. Very, very windy. Walked pretty good so far. Yeah. Another switch track junction there. You guys see some of the tracks switched out back in the day. Oh, there's a look at all the people that are out here. There's quite a few this is out. quite the hiking <laughs> destination. I think so. Like I reported, there was no one out here, but it's quite Boy, it is so windy out here. Very windy. It's just so fascinating. The switch tracks out here, this road hasn't been used in probably decades. Yeah, totally. Look how old this is. It's not even used. Wow, look, there's more people down there. Oh, there is. There's oh, been like 20 people out here I've never in the seen last those, five I've minutes. I've never seen it so busy. Those, those, those people might have walked all the way to that All the way to the trellis. They probably went over there, which is like hard. Trestle. So Danny was saying there's like another like three hour hike oh, to a train yeah. trestle that way. Six miles. Dude. We're not going to be doing that. A crazy tunnel. So I went up to a tunnel. It's like a mile long and there's like full darkness. If you want to dig deep on Danny's channel, Cinestalker from back in the day, yeah. five or six years ago, if you want to see that out there. It's like it's an old, video. old school video of yours. Old school video, man. And obviously people have been out here with spray paint. Yeah. There's like, this is almost like a roadside attraction at this point. Pretty much. It's like Cadillac Ranch. You know what? You're right. The, the, the trains. That's kind I was of thinking we'd be like one of the, the the few people who've ever been out here. No. I was wrong. <laughs> Look at this. Totally kicked off. This is like a tourist destination. Yeah. They're double decker trains too. Let's go inside right here. Yeah, yeah you can go in. You can walk in there. Get this right here. Whoa. Look at this. Very cool. Wow, look at that. Upstairs. 
this whole area because no one inside. Oh wow, yeah. This is really cool. Look at this. So cool. Double the oh my gosh, I thought someone was sitting right there. <laughs> That'd be horrible. That'd be horrible. It's a double decker that neat? train. Look at that. So cool. That is awesome. Like I'm glad it's still pretty much, you know, it's I know it's beat up. It's in it's good shape. It's spray painted. Yeah, it's not bad. It could be worse. I mean, really, if you just like got rid of all the spray paint, cleaned it up. Here's the dining car. It's not too bad. See the dining car over here? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right there. Yeah. Here's the dining car. So cool. Oh, this is awesome. This is brand new. It's picked back here for a bit. It's chill, yeah. It's actually nice and quiet. Got that wind gust. It's nice. Whew! Get out of that wind for a moment. It feels so good. Actually, feels good to back in the shade right now. Yeah. Getting so out of that good. sun. Yeah, the really seats cool. are all still in here. Yeah. Very Windows. comfortable seats. Yeah. Because I think this was in May, I think it's like the early, like mid 80s or early 90s, this, this thing was around. And uh, so I remember some of the language is in French. I don't know if it came from Canada, this thing, or what. But then it gets stuck here for some reason. I'm not sure why. You still get some of the wiring right here, some of the old electrodes and the wiring, you know, what with, with the lights would be at. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah, look, there's people hiking over there too. Yeah. Very cool though. It'd be interesting to find some old ashtrays, like find the smoking. Oh, that'd be amazing. The like, smoking areas. Or like old ads or something, like an old menu or ads, like an old, uh, you know, for a pickup or whatever, like a schedule or something. Oh, hello. Let's look in there. Maybe something that might be coming out of it. I hear you got the old, like, wooden, like, track stuff. Yeah. Now, it appears you would connect that. Everyone's mm -hmm. kind of placed their mark. Ooh, look at that. The old like uh, machinery still in there, man. Look at all that. The Christian Bale was here, Patrick Bateman. Oh, he was. Yeah. Very cool. It's where it's been like disconnected there from this door. So the handle used to be here. Any rust, tetanus issues. Incredible how there's the whole second level there. And then the luggage, the luggage go up top there? It'll go up on top, yeah. It's the it's luggage? Like really tight sorts. I don't know if I want to walk down here, but this is the second floor down, or the second level. Yeah, I don't think I want to walk on this. I don't know how stable it is, but... It wasn't too bad of a hike, to be honest. It wasn't too bad. All right, we we're just talking to the hikers that we met in the train. They said they went to the trestle. It took them four hours. And with that? Yeah, they were in pretty good shape. They said they ran quite a bit of it, and it still took them four hours. It's so I'm good. I'll just, I'll just, uh, I think I'm just good at looking at these. Take my word for it. It's your good right Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the railroad started in the early 1900s? Yeah. And then, like, Using it, and there's like an earthquake happened, and it caved in a tunnel over there, and tried building it again. And it so there's an earthquake destroyed tunnel yeah, over in this area? Yeah, way up there. It's all, it's all caved in with the rock now. So, and it feels like that. so they just left these on the track? Yeah, since like the 90s. Isn't that know. wild? It's just been stuck here ever since. So the cave, the track caved in yeah. during an earthquake, and they just left these on the track. Yeah.
sure is. And it just ends right into these rocks. Right here. End of the line. That's the end of the line. switch the, the car connector there. I'm kind of curious what that is up on oh, the yeah. top of that rock. Look, look at that. What is that? I don't know what that is. Is there a signal thing? I don't, know. I don't know what it is. What is that? It almost looks like a switch track thing way up there, it's, but it's not. Yeah, I wonder if someone put it there. Or, I don't know what. It's definitely meant to be something. Yeah, it's like it's, it's here too. There's like this little like see, it's like like a square like concrete. Yeah, thing. sure is. So maybe that's part of it. Part of it could it be, yeah. Maybe you know what it might have been. Maybe it's some old lights, like an old light structure, like a railroad light thing. Makes sense. Maybe. Like that could be the light there. Yeah, possibly. So as I look at this, I think this was maybe just an area for the storage. So I don't think that the earthquake made those boulders go down. So I don't yeah. think the train tracks ever went past that. I think this was the switch track was up there. And the full railroad itself went across that bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And when you did your hike years ago, yep. the tunnel that caved in with the earthquake back in what 1930 you said? I think it was around that time. 30s or early 40s. It was, it was Is like that time. direction? Way over there. Like a couple hour hike yeah. to get over to the big train trestle. It's, it's, Probably even more like four or five hour hike. It's at least three, three and a half. It's just going without stopping that much. It's very, it's, yeah, the ravine. I'm getting Back to the Future 3 vibes right here. Definitely, right? Look at that weird Show Nash Ravine, Clayton Ravine. Weird sound of bug right there. Clayton Ravine or something. Clay, Claire, Clay, Clay, Claire, Clayton. Clara! Yeah, right, right. <laughs> You can always count on a Back to the Future reference in almost every one of my videos. Yep. Just the norm. Yeah. The old steel rope. Wow. I'm gonna see some age right there. It's crazy. Very, very cool. Definitely getting some Hills Have Eyes vibes. Oh, it's totally right. Especially with those mountains where they look. Yeah. These, these rocks. <laughs> Just definitely a interesting ambiance out in the desert. It's like, I wonder if anyone, any like, Hills have eyes types live in these mountains. Maybe. You know what I mean? Like in the cave? I think Rob Zombie would be at home in this neck of the woods. Oh, there's maybe a light of some sort. This gear here. It looked like that, right? It's just hanging on the chain right there, too. Like a weird little like, gear. Yeah. And it broke off. And these cars, like, looks like they just separated or something throughout the years. Wind feels really good. Wind feels really good. Nice little breeze walking along the tracks. walking along so Danny's right there it's another gentleman behind him no clothes on completely in his birthday suit might not even be his birthday but back there clothesless I think Danny's getting up coming up quick pace behind me so uh yeah, there was a guy walking behind you with not a shred of clothing on. Very scary. This reminds me of the first time I came out here. Same uh, leathery brown tan like yeah. Hulk Hogan. 
He's over there now. I mean, I would get a sunburn if I was like that. Dude. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of wish I could be that you free. Really, but the vultures looking for us. The vultures are above us. The vultures are flying. <laughs> I just was not expecting to see a, naked man. a completely naked guy walking the tracks. But you know what? I guess it makes sense. I guess the sign said yeah. there was a spot over here, the, the resort over here. Yeah. All I had on was a hat, I think. Just a hat. <laughs> I was shocked too. I was like, what the heck? You know in the movie The Terminator when Arnold is up at the Griffith Observatory? Oh, yeah. And he's walking clothless. So back in the VHS days, I used to assume he had like a skin-colored bathing suit on. Oh, yeah, like, like a thong or something. But when Blu-rays came out, high def, you realize, nope, it's all just there flowing in the breeze. Oh, man. And I kind of think that maybe James Cameron was like, here, put this on. No one will ever realize that you're really not completely clothless. Right, right. But I think Arnold was like, no, that's right. No, I'm a, I'm a different. I'm not going to win nothing. Come on, let's do this. And uh, Cam Cameron's like, no, we're good. Here, just put this little, like, cl cloth colored bathing suit on. No one will know the difference. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to be completely naked right now. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> watch it in, uh, in blue. Watch the Blu ray. Oh, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's what it is. Very naked Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Free spirited. That's right. Come on. back out now. A little parking area over here, the hikers are in there. Yeah. Back out on to the main road, back to some pavement. And where the pavement begins and the dirt ends is the helicopter on the roof of a Chevron liquor store, truck stop liquor store, and a full size Helicopter, right up there. It's like a beacon off of Interstate 8, westbound, back to San Diego. I didn't even know Jazzer size was still a thing, but evidently in Alpine, California, it is. <laughs> I've made the rest of the commute back into San Diego and a taco shop by the name of Humberto's, which goes highly recommended by yourself. It's very good. Really good uh, California burrito here, good carne asada fries and rolled tacos. Yeah. Solid spot here in town, Humberto's Taco Shop. Let's do it. I don't even know what I'm going to get, but we have been on a Mexican kick yeah, you, you the know, last yeah. uh, few times we've hung out. It's okay. we got to keep it up. We're just going to go in and go a little Humberto's Taco Shop. Do it. That's a good spot. Solid. Yeah, this is a great place. The food was uh, not too not too pricey. you got the old style booths over here as well. you got the Virgin Mary up top. you got the ceiling fans. And this is what we're dealing with. I got the rice, I got the beans, I got the burrito. We also got some rolled tacos oh, over yeah. here. Another burrito too. And he got the, get the carne asada burrito. Carne asada. With rice and beans. Yeah. Very nice. Here, man. I love the have a nice day. Classic. Uh, old school styrofoam. Totally old school. <laughs> so good. Very nice. This is pretty good stuff. Pretty good uh, size burrito here. I got the beef and you got the carne asada. Totally. And I noticed in San Diego, or just in that, this area of California, roll tacos are like a real big 
popular item. They started here, right? They started here supposedly at this other restaurant. Yeah. So it's a huge thing out here. Super tacos. tacos. I did not realize this plate was going to be so expansive, but yeah. A lot of food right here. It is. Yours is rolled up. Mine. Just gives you It's kind of like that guy walking over by the train earlier. He's doing that. Back up at my room now. Had to get some leftovers. Ordered a little too much food for the belly. So I got something for a little bit later before, before turning in for the evening. I got some, some leftovers. Looking at the stadium here, the view from my window. It was a good day back in San Diego. I'll see you the next video. The vlog. I check out tomorrow. Is over.